good evening. The week is almost finished and um, I haven't uploaded anything so I want to do two short videos today. I have had a bit of a cold so you can <clears throat> still hear my voice is a bit dark. So what I want to show today is um, the coding analyzer. It just helps you to clean up the project so it doesn't really analyze your data but it finds redundant codes but let me demonstrate what a redundant code is um, using that non-coded um, project here of these of the um, example project so we have no codes here and um, so maybe this, this is how it often happens. I code a longer segment and I just call it code, code A. So I have a longer segment here. I continue coding and add some other codes here. And then I read this here again and say, oh, this is about code A. And then I code it again with code A. So this is, of course, nonsense because I have coded something with code A, that's already coded with code A. So all of these instances can be found by Atlas TI and then you can clean it up. And there are actually also some of these uh, redundancies here in that sample um, project. So I go to Tools, Coding Analyzer, and go through all the data. And there it is, it finds all the redundant codings. I thought it's quite normal that these things happen. Um, but it's also good to check, and especially if you um, work in teams and you merge projects, I always would double check whether I have redundant coding. So let's pick this one here. So I can also show it in the data in the data context. And let me just move it a bit here. So you can click on the run code and a uh, coded segment and here on that one. You see, this is just a few words here. For whatever reason, um, this happened. Then you can decide now, well, actually, I want to um, keep the long one and remove that coding here. So you have remove options here, but you also have unlink. So if there would, would be um, more codes, and there are none here, I can see there's no more purple code here. So I can safely remove, because it also then removes that quotation. If another code would have been linked um, with that quotation, that would have been gone as well. So that's why you have the um, possibility of um, unlinking and merging. So let's look at another one. So we have that one and that one again along in the short one. This is coded with scientific evidence and that. So we could either have small short, short segments, so you could of course also manually adjust that quotation if you wanted to or you can just say well they're too close together. So I just merge them so you see what has happened here. It's created just one segment. So we have here, yeah so I say merge again, make a longer segment go to that document. So here again we have a, a long one and then another scientific I already can spot it here. So what I want to this is all about scientific evidence so well you might need want to review this and then make our decision and then you go um, through here. So you either decide for the remove one or the other to, which also then deletes the quotation to unlink or to merge, make one segment out of two of them. And then, of course, once you're done with this, you go and save your project. So all the changes are, of course, saved. So there's much about the um, coding analyzer. 